Six new updates just came out in AutoDS and these updates will not only help you with your user experience and with your financing, but it will also help you drive in more sales and get more profit. Let's go over these new features. Quick intro and let's go. Hello everyone, glad to have you here today. My name is Diran from AutoDS. I'm the content manager and I've also been selling online for the last several years. And in this video, we're going to go over six new updates that just came out in AutoDS. These features are definitely going to help you out. One second before we begin, if you're new to our YouTube channel, this is the part right now where you need to subscribe to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the world of e-commerce and dropshipping. Now let's get on with these six new updates. So first of all, Payoneer is now now available for your payment options on AutoDS. So for your payment subscription and plans, you can now use Payoneer, which means that you can also use it to buy your auto order credits and of course fulfill your fulfilled by AutoDS orders. That one we already had. Let's take a look. So this is the AutoDS menu. I'm going to click on settings. Then I'm going to click on plans and add-ons. As you can see here, we have all of our plans and all of our add-ons that we used to pay using PayPal or using a credit card. But now I wanna change that to Payoneer. So we're going to click on account and billing and here we're going to edit our payment method. So we've got the debit or credit card and we've got PayPal and now we've also got Payoneer. So in order to connect your Payoneer account, simply click on checkout with Payoneer. It'll take you to the Payoneer login page enter your email and your password for Payoneer, and then the API connection will be complete and you will start paying all of your bills through Payoneer. And once again, this also means that you can buy your auto order credits using Payoneer. So once you've connected Payoneer in the settings in the payment options, and you come here to buy credits for your automatic orders, then these credits will be charged through your Payoneer account and not through PayPal, not through your credit card, and of course, as you guys know, you can already load balance through Payoneer. This is nothing new, but this is another thing that you can do. So now, if you've connected your eBay account to Payoneer Manage Payments, or if you're using another selling platform and you're paying with Payoneer, now everything will be much, much easier for you. Now that everything can be done through Payoneer, it'll just make your job so much easier because we used to be doing it with PayPal. And once eBay moved to their managed payments with Payoneer, it made the financial situation a lot harder for people to cope with. Now everything stays once again under the same house. So enjoy this update. The second new update that we have, and many of you eBay dropshippers are going to love this, AutoDS now supports tracking conversions with Aquiline. Now, many of you know that we are using conversions with Blue Care Express. So if you're dropshipping from Amazon to eBay and you're converting your tracking numbers to Blue Care Express because you want it to be noticeable and supported by eBay, all those TBA tracking numbers that are no good for us, now you can use Aquiline conversion tracking numbers. And what this is going to give you is your own zip code for the tracking numbers. And all of you guys who are dropshipping on eBay, you guys know that eBay likes to flag our dropshipping stores because of their dropshipping policy, because the items that we are listing are not shipped out from the same zip code that we have on the item location. So now we can reverse that and this is exactly how that is done. So on AutoDS, we're going to click on settings. And by the way, reminder, this only works for people dropshipping from Amazon to eBay using US, UK, Germany, or the France regions. All right, so we click on settings, then we're going to click on orders. So we want the order settings. Make sure that the store that's selected is an eBay store and that the supplier is Amazon, one of those regions that I just went over. So here, what we're going to do is head on over to tracking conversion, click on the drop down menu, and as you see, now there's a new option called convert all tracking numbers to Aquiline with zip code masquerade. Okay, you can hover over if you wanna read about this, but it's exactly what I just explained. So we're going to choose that option. And now what's going to happen is all of the products are going to come out every time we get a shipping tracking number from Amazon, it's going to be converted to Aquiline tracking number, which means that we're going to be using a specific zip code. Which zip code is that? 
exactly what you have set right here on the list or options in the default zip code. So this is the zip code that we're going to use now on all of your tracking numbers, whatever you have set on your default zip code. And that's it. No more flagging accounts, no more dropshipping policy. eBay, here we come. The third update that I want to show you guys is that you can now rearrange the image order in the drafts page or on your products page. So let's take a look. Let's go to the drafts page. Let's open up the first product that we see here. Then I'm going to click on images. And as you see here, we have the products images. So now you can rearrange them by simply clicking and dragging and dropping. And once again, simply rearrange the images so that you will see it on a specific order on your product page. By by the way guys don't sell jbl that's a vero product so what i'm going to do is remove that from the list but that's just what i wanted to show you that you can now rearrange your images on your drafts or on your products page the fourth update that i want to show you guys is that we now have a new column on the orders page called the estimated arrival date so if you're using the fulfilled by auto ds service and you're drop shipping from a supplier for example amazon we're going to that supplier's page we're grabbing the information from your supplier's page and we're putting it on your auto ds order line let me show you exactly what i mean so on auto ds we're going to head over to the orders page so here is one of my ebay stores and it's actually my real store there's it's not a demo account you can see my orders here today is november 16th while i'm recording this video yesterday was the 15th we can see all the orders here we can see my buy prices how much profit i'm making on each order and once again guys everything here is real so now we added a new column called the estimated arrival this is showing exactly what we're seeing on the suppliers order page so if your buyer is asking you when the order is supposed to arrive you don't really need to open up a support ticket anymore or open up a chat you can simply give them the information here and save yourself the time and get faster responses to your customers so there you go now you got the estimated arrival and there's another thing that i want to show you when it comes to the orders page which brings us down to our fifth update the simplicity of changing your product id on the orders page and you can do this for example if you want to issue out your order but the supplier ran out of stock and you want to switch that with a different product the same product but from a different supplier or from a different region or from the same supplier but a different seller under that supplier so you want to change the product id to a different product and then you want to issue out the order so this is how that's done head over to the orders page and open up one of the order details here hover over the pencil icon next to the buy id and here, simply change it with a different buy URL. So for example, right now, it's shipping out this product. This is the product ID and it's from Amazon. So let's say I got another product. I want to switch this with another product that I found maybe on AliExpress. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put AliExpress's product URL over here. I will change the supplier from Amazon to AliExpress and change to its relevant region. Once you do that, click on update and it will update that new product ID and it will issue out the order with the updated product ID. So we made this a whole lot more simple for anyone who wants to change their product ID before issuing out their orders. The sixth update that I wanna show you guys is the advanced options. We made it a whole lot more practical when you are now importing products to your store. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So I'm going to click on add products, add multiple products to multiple stores. And in this option, we have the advanced options. So up until now, it used to have have a hover effect with a checkbox menu and it wasn't so practical so now if we click on it it'll take us to our settings page where we added it now to the lister options so now you can see that we're in the settings the store settings and the lister and here we've got the advanced lister settings so now what you're going to do is save whatever settings you want as a default for the supplier under this specific store and you will not have to hover over the advanced lister settings and do that over and over again every time you want to list new items so here we have all of the options and of course if i go to an ebay store then you'll see ebay's options including also private listing so here if i have that set as a default with the checkbox and i'll save it Every time I add products from Amazon US to my eBay store, it'll always have the private listing enabled. And that's just one example out of the many that we have here. So those are the six updates, but I have one more bonus update for you. So make that seven. Now, when you search for something on AutoDS, you can see that it's split into three different columns. So you got products, you got drafts, and you have orders. So if you're searching for something, let the system know if you're searching for it in the products, if you're searching for that in the drafts, 
or if you're searching for a specific order and it'll make the search function much faster, much more reliable and much easier to use. That's it for the updates that we just released on AutoDS. I hope that you enjoy it. And if you guys want to make new feature requests, because everything that we're doing here is what you guys are asking for. So head over to AutoDS click on the circle icon up here, then click on feature request. This is where you can make all of your requests and we are using the Upvoti internal system. So if you see something that you like or, or if there's something that you wanna see in AutoDS or a feature that you wanna improve, first search for it on the search field and see if someone already made a content or feature request for it. If they did, you can simply upvote it. So click the up button if you wanna vote for that too or create a new one if no one created that request before. Then what we're going to do is we're going to move it to planned once we have enough votes for it. Then it'll move to in progress, which means our development team is already working on these updates and live once it goes live. So for example, the last features that went live is that we added eBay Australia, grab all details in V2, remove the brand name automatically from the title or description. I completely agree with whoever made that vote. And that's it guys, this is where you wanna go if you wanna see new changes being implemented on AutoDS. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, and of course subscribe to our YouTube channel if you guys always wanna be ahead of the game when it comes to dropshipping and e-commerce in general. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the future videos.